Fortunate is he, fortunate is he, who remembers Allah abundantly. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, our dear viewers, to the excellence of manners. With us is our guest, uh, Sheikh Saeed Al-Qadi. We were discussing um, before the break the, uh, the truthfulness and I wanted to ask you about uh, situations that happen to all of us as people that sometimes it seems that telling the truth is going to get us into more trouble, that it has more, uh, you know, uh, that it has less benefits than telling a lie. Uh, can you comment on this uh, situation? What, what should we do in these situations? Uh, we might think this way, but however, uh, whenever you practice truthfulness, truthfulness will save you. It's a savior. It's a savior. And it will, uh, it will benefit you in this life and in the hereafter. It will benefit you in this life and in the hereafter. It will save you in this life and in the hereafter. Allah SWT said in the Quran, This day, the truthfulness will benefit the truthful ones. هذا يوم ينفع الصادقين صدقهم today your truthfulness will benefit you in the day of judgment. This is where it's going to In the hereafter. So now we uh. we know the the mm. the level that you're going to reach for mm. truthfulness, how it's going to help you in the hereafter, and it's going to be a savior for you. And even in the West, they have uh, saying that the truth shall set you free. Uh, <laughs> so uh, now, is there any benefit to this world? Do we, do we see any virtues and benefits in telling the truth in this life? Not do we have to wait for the reward in the hereafter? Let me ask a question now. W would you be would you be pleased and happy to work uh, or to deal with someone who's a liar? No. No. Absolutely. Okay. Not. Uh, therefore, truthfulness will 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 make you beloved to people. First of all, people will love you. Will be w they will be happy to deal with you. And plus, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will bestow His blessings upon you. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi when he spoke about, uh, about uh, business and trade, he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Both parties in the business are, uh, have, have, the, have the right to cancel at any time as long as they are together, as long as they haven't separated. Have not separated. And then he said at the end, فَإِن صَدَقَ وَبَيَّنَا If they were truthful, if they tell the truth, and clarified everything and made everything clear. If they, if they make everything clear and they tell the truth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bestow His blessing upon that transaction. بُورِكَ لَهُمَ فِي بَيْعِهِمَا Allah Akbar. وَإِنْ كَذَبَا وَكَتَمَا If they tell the lies and conceal anything, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove the blessing from that transaction. So truthfulness will bring blessing into your life as well. I no. think I think mm. every every single person has dealt with some sort of sale of and buying no. where somebody has concealed the truth mm. and and it, it has all these negative feelings in this life Allah and no. you can see the you can really see the the consequences for no. lying. Subhanallah. Now we have established that the truth should always be your your uh, you should always go to the truth manner, your manner your yeah. manner mm. your base mm. uh, is there Definitely. any time mm. or it, that it's allowed that you should it's okay to lie maybe they, it's like a small lie maybe oh it's probably a lie when you or joke for or example. joking joking now well you should be truthful in every single word that you say Truthful in all uh, situations. You need to be truthful. You need to adhere to truthfulness all the time. Even if you are joking with people. Even if you're joking. Even if you are joking with people. And Nabi Sallallahu said, I guarantee a dwelling in the center of Jannah for the one who gives up lying, even if it was for the sake of fun. Even if he was joking. So you need to adhere to truthfulness even if you are joking. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they said to him, Ya Rasulullah, you, you joke with us. You make joke, you make joke with us. He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but I don't say anything but that which is truth. Allah I don't Allah say Allah. any word unless if it's truth. Uh, 
and that's uh, and, and, and furthermore he sallam said that uh, he 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 cursed the person who lies to make people laugh ويل الذي يضحك الذي يكذب فيضحك القوم أو ويل الذي يكذب أو يحدث فيكذب ليضحك القوم ويل له ويل الله the person who lies to make people laugh woe unto him woe unto him woe unto him the Prophet said يعني yeah it's very prevalent that people say jokes all the time like you know community jokes like جحا and and redneck jokes and and so on and so forth and is would that be considered is of what you're talking about it, so we should it, it try to it will abstain be. You should from adhere this. to the uh, truthfulness all the time even if you are joking and there's no there's mm. no uh, problem with joking mm. it's just you know say something truthful and it, right. it could still be funny yeah, yeah. it could can still be funny, be funny. can make uh, people laugh but see that which is truth that's right no. now uh, i want to i also wanted to mention something mm. of course that we have in the states mm. uh, like uh, in April, and even in Egypt, they have it. The first of April is they call it you know, April Fool's Day. day. Yeah. <laughs> in 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 Egypt, they call it Kibbut uh, Ibril, the Lion of April. April. So, uh, is this uh, it's not justified? It's not allowed. You are only allowed to lie in three uh, occasions. The first occasion is the time in, in, when you are when you are in the time of war. Uh, the second occasion, you are also allowed to lie. If you want to uh, conciliate between two parties, two people who are who have uh, a problem between them or have a row between them, uh, also you can lie if you want to please your wife, and she can lie as well to please you if she <laughs> want to, believe, to, to, to please you. Um Kulthum said that the Prophet never give uh, never uh, gave a permission for people to lie unless in three uh, occasions, which is at the time of war. And also, uh, when you want to please your wife, or if she want to please you, or uh, the third one, uh, which is if you want to conciliate between people. To I wanted to just focus on the mm. uh, when, when you're speaking to your wife. It's mm. is it the I want to emphasize it's the lie when you say you know uh, you look nice in that in that dress. Uh, mm. You know, if she asks you, do I look big in this? Mm. You you say no. Mm. That's the kind of lie. We're not saying. Are you talking about the? Is there a difference between lying like a big lie if she asks you, you know, where did you go? Uh, I didn't go and you lie about what that. Is that okay? You stick to truthfulness all the time unless if you know that if you say the truth, you will, you will break her heart. For example, okay. if she says to you, am I beautiful? And in your, in your opinion, she's not that beautiful. You can say, yeah, very beautiful. Uh, do you like me? I like you so much. Because uh, it will uh, create yeah, this it, love that's between, right. between that's right, yeah. Allah, yeah. Allah, 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 Allah. Uh, now we come back to the other side of telling the truth, which mm-hmm. is lying. Uh, um, what yeah. is the harm and and the 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 jazet of lying? The liar, first of all, lying will lead us to the to the to the debauchery, to the indecency, to the immorality, to the vice, and vice will lead to the hellfire. So if you keep and Rasulullah said, a man persists and insists in saying the falsehood and speaking and telling the lies until he is ascribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or written with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or enrolled with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a liar. He will be written as a liar in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People, they might know that you are a good person, a very respectful person, honest, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are written, you are enrolled with him as a liar. So this is the, this is the biggest uh, disadvantage. Uh, I mm-hmm. wanted to mention something. People usually look at a small lie as itself small, like eh, it's nothing. Is lying mm-hmm. a small sin or is it a major sin? Uh, it depends on the lying. Okay. It depends on the lying. But however, generally, it's a, it's a major sin. It's a major sin, especially if you go to the um, if you are lying upon Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, for example. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ افْتَرَى عَلَى اللَّهِ كَذِبًا Who is greater in sin, in wrong, than the one who lies upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala إِنَّهُ لَا يُفْلِحُ الظَّالِمُونَ The wrongdoers will never be successful. And also lying upon Nabiuna صلى الله عليه وسلم is also a, a, a major sin. قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم مَنْ كَذَبَ عَلَيَّ مُتَعَمِّدًا فَلْيَتَبَوَّأْ مَقْعَدَهُ فِي النَّارِ Whoever lies upon me and he is intentionally lying upon me, then let him prepare his chair in the hellfire. And the hadith of Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. Hmm. Also lying if you lie uh, about, your, uh, about your lineage. 
for example, if you say that um, uh, I, 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 so and so is my father, and he's not your father, uh, or that tribe is my tribe, and they're not your tribe. And this is well from the major sins. Uh, we have the hadith, uh, the one who uh, claims to be that he is the son of so and so, and he is not, he will never smell the smelling of Jannah. And the hadith is Sahih Bukhari. So those types of lie uh, of lying is 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 is, is uh, a ma major, of course. Uh, furthermore, as well, if you lie in a dream, if you say, for example, that today I dream this and this, and you were lying, these are all major. Uh, it's major as well. These yeah. are all major. In says. the most the person, the, the most, the worst type of lying when you say that I've seen something in my dream and you haven't seen it. No, no. it's a lying. <laughs> Uh, we, mm -hmm. we need to wrap up, but I just want uh, mm -hmm. a quick uh, advice to our viewers. Mm -hmm. How do we, uh, a practical application of attaining this constant truthfulness, what should we do or advice that you have that we can uh, be consistently honest? Zakallah, a very good question. How to practice truthfulness? How to become a truthful person? Is that what you're asking about? Yes. First of all, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you truthful. Mm. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you truthful. Keep asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you truthful. Secondly, Practice truthfulness. Train yourself towards it. Train yourself towards truthfulness. And you have in the hadith, وَمَنْ يَتَصَبَّرُ يُصَبِّرُهُ اللَّهُ Whoever practice patience, Allah Ta'ala will make him patient. Whoever practice truthfulness, Allah Ta'ala will make him truthful. Whoever persists in speaking the truth, Allah Ta'ala will enroll him as a truthful person. Allah so train yourself towards it. Uh, another method, make sure that you choose uh, companion or some companions who are truthful. Allah Ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha wa kunu ma'a al-sadiqeen. Fear Allah Ta'ala who you believe and be with those who are truthful. Jazakumullah khair, Shaykh. Mm. With that, we come to the conclusion of our show. Yeah. I wanted to remind our viewers that uh, this, this, this topic is a very important topic and truthfulness will get you into the highest level of Jannah. You will be loved by Allah, by the Prophet, by the people in this earth, and it will benefit you in this, er in this life and in the hereafter. Jazakumullah khair, Shaykh Saeed, and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fortunate is he, fortunate is he, who remembers Allah abundantly. Worldly distractions cannot mildly sway. His thoughts of Allah and Judgment Day. Righteous is he, righteous is he, who bows to one he cannot see, whose deeds do not spring without Bismillah, fulfilling his tasks with perfect taqwa.